Well, a chemical spill that has tainted a West Virginia river and threatened the community's water supply should reach Cincinnati by early or midweek. The Elk River is about 200 miles upstream from us and is a small Ohio River tributary. Cincinnati Water Works employees are in the process of getting a sample of the chemicals so they can determine the best water treatment option if needed here. Local 12's Larry Davis joins us now live from Hamilton to explain what the water authorities there are keeping water or how they're keeping it clean and safe to drink. Larry. Hi Curtis. Well, Hamilton's main water treatment plant is actually located here in Fairfield, just on the north end. But let's say, for example, there is a train derailment here in this area. Several cars derail. There's a chemical spill. Well, according to the people here in Hamilton uh, and, and Butler County as well, there would be no concern about the drinking water. They say it would be safe. 16 wells supply the city of Hamilton's main filtration plant. That number of sources alone are enough to ensure water quality in the event of a chemical spill. Because our wells are not clustered in one group, we could have a contamination event and be able to isolate particular wells and still have an adequate source water or raw water supply to operate our treatment plant. The plant has processes in place to provide safe drinking water, ranging from an aeration system to a lab for the testing of H2O. Even if the main plant went down, Superintendent Greg Petritus says the city has a backup plant ready to go. We have the ability to produce 6 million gallons per day at our North Water Treatment Plant, which would be sufficient for our Hamilton customers, and we would be able to produce water for drinking use, cooking use, and uh, necessary function. The contamination of the water supply in West Virginia was the result of a chemical spill into the Elk River, something that Petrita says could have been prevented. I would think that they would have uh, all of their chemical tanks with secondary containment that would be capable of holding the full quantity of that chemical tank. The city of Hamilton has won many state and national awards for best tasting drinking water. It was once voted world's best. The city, which bottles its own, may be shipping some of its H2O to help those affected in West Virginia. We've won many awards uh, for best tasting water, and we also have a small bottling facility that we've used to donate water in emergency situations in the past. And Curtis, this is that uh, Hamilton bottled water. It's uh, Hamilton on tap. And as Greg mentioned, it may soon very well be on the way to the people in West Virginia who are now dealing with no drinking water. That water would be shipped by way of Matthew 25 Ministries. Live in Fairfield, Larry Davis, Local 12 News. Curtis, back to you. All right, certainly an anxious situation. We want to keep our eye on Larry. Thank you. Federal investigation is now open concerning the West Virginia spill.